Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Anne Mays. Thanks so much for stopping by today. I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I've had several bags here in my studio waiting to be um, put away. <laughs> and I've been uh, filming separate videos for each one. So uh, if you're new here and you like to see crafty hauls, if you'd like to see anything pertaining to arts and crafts, then uh, you may want to subscribe if you haven't already. And you can do so by clicking on the subscribe button below or on the NMAX in the corner of the screen. And don't forget to click on that bell from YouTube so you will be notified whenever I post new content. So let's get on to this Dollar Tree haul. I don't know if any of you have been into Dollar Tree lately, but they're bringing out lots of new storage bins, lots of pretty new colors. OMG, now's the time to go get them. And as I'm saying that, I'm thinking, oh, I'm going to miss out on all the pretty colored ones. Uh, yeah. Because <laughs> I've been buying the clear ones and with the white lids and the clear lids uh for my storage but this one is a new one it's not one of the pretty colors but i really like it because it is really square uh well it's a rectangle i know but it's more flat here than the other styles which go out like this and you waste a little bit of shelf space when you stack a bunch of these but these ones are uh royal shoe box these are made in canada i think and they are really like i like that they're a streamline and the lid really does click on like click click um better than some of the other storage boxes that i usually buy at dollar tree so i'm liking this i'm liking the quality of the plastic versus the other ones too and if they want to make if they want to bring out more of this style and in different colors go for it dollar tree uh i'm willing to pay a buck 25 for these because boxes like this have gone up in price everywhere else so uh yeah so that's new and i bought i just bought two of them i love that sound and this one is filled up with some new bows that I saw in the gift wrapping. And they're really pretty. So they have these new bows. Check these out. Aren't they cute? And they have them in a blue, um, white. Lavender, lilac, purple, whatever you close your boat. Yellow. Green. And this pink. And I just thought they look lovely together. They would make like a really pretty spring wreath. <laughs> what do you think about it? They're, I guess they're like little flowers. But also I thought... These might be fun to use for embellishments. You can probably take this apart and use the, the little flowers as a type of decoration on something. Um, you know, as a, as a ribbon, a trim or something. Anyway, uh, yeah, so these are new and I thought they were really pretty. Very, very spring-like and very kind of girly too. So yeah, I wanted to show that okay next thing I picked up is I found more ribbons more bags of ribbons and this store only puts out a few ribbons out few ribbon packs out at a time or that's all they get I don't know but I found some new colors these ones are pastel -y colors so I picked these up these are such a great deal great value and there's some in here that say Happy Valentine's Day, actually. Oh, how appropriate. Because I got these, uh, it was after Valentine's Day, actually. So, yep, yeah, pastel, these pastel -y colors, um, and this one as well. And they're different from all the other types of ribbons, like ribbon packs I've called from Dollar Tree. These are different. And I also got this one. So... Yeah, uh, I keep I keep saying I don't need more ribbon, I don't need more glitter, I don't need more of this, and I keep finding new stuff. Oh my God, 
Dollar Tree, what are you doing to me? <laughs> and I love it all. It's so pretty because I, I look in these packs and I'm like, oh, I don't have this. Oh, I don't have that. Ooh. Yeah, there's like a zillion things I don't have, but there's also another zillion things that I do have. Oh my goodness, it's a disease. It's a disease. Oh, picked up a package of these fragile stickers. You get 10 in here. Uh, these are great for mailing, of course, fragile things. Also great if you're coming back uh, on a flight and you have to bring... Uh, something that is oddly shaped and you have to go to special baggage and stuff this is good to stick on that also um, good for moving putting on boxes when you're moving so I just got a stash of these and well that's I mean I got this pack of stickers so I plan on keeping a couple of these in my carry on for whenever I go on a trip and I have to come back with a lot more stuff than I plan and sometimes I have to put it in the box so I'll use this to label the box uh, some new linen cardstock colors I thought I hauled every every type that there was the last time I picked up linen cardstock but uh, this was recently put out on my store and it it's very pretty it's forever in time you get 16 sheets uh, and here are the colors this is a green by the way it's like a forest green uh, so very like earthy colors and so you get four of each color for orange for yellow for this forest green four of this uh, like burgundy color so I thought that was fun they're pretty papers too and there were some new paper flowers, handmade paper flowers, Forever in Time, Multicraft. Uh, someone has asked me if Forever in Time is a sister company to Multicraft. Actually, Multicraft is the company. Forever in Time is one of the lines that they have. So that's the mothership is Multicraft. <laughs> and Forever in Time is one of their, one of their brands. So... Uh, yeah, like a lot of companies, you know, you, well, I'm not going to go into that, but, uh, <laughs> uh, so yeah, this, uh, are, these are handmade paper flowers. They are really pretty. You can get like, um, a multi-pack like this and they also have the individual colors. So I did get some more of the sunflower ones, the yellow sunflowers, because I really like those ones. And the other handmade paper flowers that they have are like this. And I do have a lot of flowers, period. So I didn't get too many. I just got one of each color. They're gorgeous. They are absolutely gorgeous. Pink one, purple. Uh, oh, and check out this. Isn't that... Doesn't that look like some other bro product and brand that is overpriced? Yeah, exactly. Um, and blue. So those are the colors I got at my store. So I wanted to share that with you. New also from Craft. So uh, where were we? We were on the Dollar Tree haul. New product at Dollar Tree, the uh, craft decor. Again, multi-craft. <laughs> uh, here's some burlap ribbon, wide ribbon with lace trim. They have it packaged like so. You get in the package 1.6 yards uh, and it's 2.4 inches wide so you don't get a lot in here you only get one and a half yards of this one and this one they have it plain or with lace so I just picked one up of each because I already have a lot of burlap ribbon on a roll uh, but I wanted to show you that these are available so you basically you get a lot less in here than you do on a roll hmm. Okay, a new item at Dollar Tree is this bling, this pretty bling on a roll. 
Isn't it pretty? So here I have the four colors that were at my store. And you get on here, this is the Floral Garden brand, Floral Garden. And three yards on here. It measures three quarters of an inch. And you do get a lot of product on here. The roll is pretty full. So uh, you get three yards. It's bulky. And yeah, so that is new as well at uh, Dollar Tree. I, oops, another new item, and I picked a few of these up, and they're all tangled together, <laughs> is this welcome sign with the little turbine windmill, wind, wind wheel thingy. <laughs> And it does spin, but right now this little plastic doohickey is in the way. So I can't I can't spin it for you, but it does spin. And it says welcome. So I thought this was really cute. And I thought there's some DIY possibilities with this, but they're also cute just as a sign. And what else do I have to oh I'm forgetting one of the best things that I have to share with you. I saw I've seen these often when I go into Dollar Tree and I walk down the aisle or they have the pet stuff. Um, and I've never paid attention, but this time I did. And the reason I paid attention is because I finally saw that it's called Absor Text. And I took a closer look and I took the liberty of prying one of these open in the store to see what it looked like inside and all right so you can open these so i checked these out in the store so what this says is pet care products washing drying grooming cooling towel and they show a little puppy there wearing the towel looks like puppy just had a bath and they're trying to dry off puppy so it says it's a cooling towel usage to keep your pet cool simply soak the towel in cool water and wring out place towel over pet if towel dries out simply re-wet to clean towel rinse in mild soapy water rinse and place back in tube if towel dry, dr dries out simply uh, re-soak and use now this Apparently, it absorb tax is out of Montreal, so it's a company out of Montreal. And what drew me to this is the what the material is. And I took it out of the bag, and when I took it out of the bag, I, I was like, "Oh, I'm buying this." So what you have here is basically a chamois. You have a chamois. Now this one, I tore it. That's my fault. That's not how I came, but um, it's a chamois, people. That's what this is. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if this could work the same as a stamp chamois. Well, you're gonna have to stay tuned to see how uh, these compare. And I will have a video for that com uh, coming shortly, but please don't hold your breath because uploading takes a while here. So yeah, so I got these and these are $1.25 and they, do they say, yeah, they measure 17 by 20, 17 by 12 inches or 12 by 17, whichever way you want to say it. And that is what it is. And uh, yeah, it's a chamois. So uh, for those of you who are crafters, dampers, you might know what I'm referring to. And well, you'll have to wait and see. Okay, so that is it for this Dollar Tree haul. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you saw some goodies to get your craft on in there. And if you did like this video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. Please like, comment, and share. And until next time, stay crafty. Bye.